Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use the Align Panel. And I'm just going to close the Align Panel, which I already had open, and um, open it again so you know where it is. It's under Window, like most of the panels are under Window, but some of them are under Submenus. And the Align Panel will not be found under A unless you go to Object and Layout, okay? It's a submenu for objects. Just think if every time you have objects and you want to do something with them, it's going to be under ob the object window menu items. So let me grab the line panel, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 14 different types of ways to align your objects. That's a lot of choices. Um, pretty much every possible ability that you would want. And then you can even um, use specific measurements for the distribution of spaces, which is really cool. So um, and first, let me select. Make sure you're on your selection tool. And then you can drag a marquee around all the objects that you want to select and distribute or align. And if you, in my case, that's everything on the page. I can also go Control or Command A, Command for a Mac, Control for a PC. And then, um, anyway, so select them all, and then I'm going to show you different ways to align. So this is aligned to the left edge. So when I press this, all the objects shoot to the left and align at one X coordinate, which in this case, this guide happens to be one point, whoops, one point forty-two. Okay, and go back, um, edit, undo, edit, undo, um, and in design you can go edit, undo forever and ever. So that's pretty cool. Whereas some programs you can only do edit, undo one time. Um, also, Control Z or Command Z, Command Z for a Mac, Control Z for a PC, and then um, so. I'm going to go back and then do this horizontal center align. So it brings all the center points of the objects. They shoot to the middle point of all of them. Okay. And control Z that, command Z that. Um, now I'm going to align them to the right edge. It's like the opposite of the left edge. Go back in time here and then try the align to the top. You're just aligning it to the top. Um, in this case, Y coordinate right here, that point, whatever it is, um, go back and then try centering them. So they're all aligned on their center points, whatever the object center points are, they're going to align to that. Okay. And then, um, what else? Then we have the align to the bottom. Now, one thing to note here is that... Let's see. Okay, I'll go over that in just a sec. Um, let me go back in time. I want to show you the distribute objects. So if you notice, when I center align them, um, they're not evenly spaced. And that has to do with distribution. So you can distribute them. So here, if we want to distribute vertical centers, it looks like that. Okay? Um, you can center them to the bottom lines of each object. So like so, like so. So now it doesn't look like they're evenly distributed, but they are according to where each um, this Y point falls on the bottom of each object. So there you go. Um, and then with, in the case of the align to the top line, it's the opposite. So you'd have to move all of these up a couple spaces. Let's see. Whoops. Move. Can I move all the guides? Let's see. Let me use my arrows. Ooh, I can use my arrows and move them all up. So it should line up like so. So they align to the top of each object. Okay, like so. Now I'm going to go back in time here. Move everything back in time. Now, in the case that I don't want the objects to align at their centers or the top line or the bottom line, etc., and then you can go to the left, the right, etc., um, and I actually want to create even amounts of space between them, I use the distribute spacing option, like so.